Hey everyone, the case of a man accused of shooting up a, a local apartment complex causing frightening night for neighbors, not gonna go to the grand jury. Mohamed Lagawi is charged with shooting his father and a sheriff's deputy. Local 12's Megan Mongello is live in Mason with new information following a hearing this afternoon. Megan. Well, Paula, at the arraignment, it was the first chance to actually see the suspect in person. At the video arraignment on Monday, he was combative and argumentative, but today at the preliminary hearing, Mohamed Lagawi showed no emotion as he walked towards the defendant's table. In his orange jumpsuit, 19 year old Mohamed Lagawi didn't look around as he walked straight for the defendant's table. He sat and listened as Jason Ratliff, who we interviewed after the shooting, testified against him. He lived next door at the Orchards of Landon Apartments. Last Thursday, Jason heard loud bangs and went outside to find out why. As I, you know, attempted to speak to him, he turned and aimed the gun at me and fired twice. How close did he come to hitting you? Um, well, the first, I saw the muzzle flash on the first one and turned and kind of dove in the grass and then heard the other one go by. The judge requested we not show the faces of the witnesses today at their request. A detective also testified that after a seven hour manhunt for the suspect ended, Lagawi told him about what he had done. Once he'd fired at the deputy, um, he just said that he had ran and, and had um, hid and uh, at some point he had taken the weapon he had and threw it into a uh, lake. He admitted to shooting at a um, female with a ponytail wearing a uniform. She's, she's still recovering. It was actually a pretty serious wound. So uh, she's still recovering at this point. And Deputy Katie Barnes was not in court today, but as the case moves forward, she will eventually be called on to testify. As for Legawi, he is being held in jail on four counts, one of attempted murder, one of aggravated attempted murder, and two counts of felonious assault. Reporting live in Mason, Megan Mongello, Local 12 News. Thank you, Megan. And despite extensive searches, deputies have not been able to find the assault rifle used in the attack.